There's some fire this season, and you already know what this video is. What's up, guys? For today's video, you already know what we're doing. It's been requested by one person, so we're delivering it to you guys. Me and Joe did, I think, twice now so far, and I probably should have did introductions first. As you all know from my previous videos, or if you're new to the channel, this is Joe. Make sure you follow him on Instagram. I will put his Instagram in the description and put it on the screen as well. So make sure you follow him, but while you pull out that Instagram app, make sure you also follow me on Instagram. I'll put my handle on screen as well and in the description below. And no more talking. Let's just get into this fire. This is SS20 by far the greatest season Would you say yeah. I think since since I we've been like in it. the game since yeah. we've been in the game full-time This is probably the hardest season we have seen thus far and I'm so hyped But you know who's not hyped my bank account because this is gonna be crazy of a season I don't want this video being 30 minutes long like last year, so we're gonna try to like breeze through this. But we know why you guys are here, it's for the accessories. So we decided to start things off with the accessories. And I am gonna be doing something a little bit different. I'm gonna be screen recording it because I learned my lesson from last year. It adds about a whole hour of editing, so I'm just screen recording and I'm starting that right now. So here are all the accessories and I think we should start off by saying what we think are our favorite accessories. Um, I'll go first. Uh, my favorite accessory, which I forgot what I picked. Oh yeah, my favorite accessory is right here. I decided to pick the Ziploc bags, and I picked that because I think that's hilarious. I picked the band-aids in the past. I picked the cough drops. I always pick like the dumb things that I think are fire. These will probably sit on the site for probably the remainder of the day that on drop day. And I am guaranteeing that you can buy multiples of these. It says box of 30. They'll probably allow you to get like five packs these or something. So you already know. I'll be getting max amount of packs. Oh, can I go back? Okay, here we go back. And then, uh, Joe, what was your favorite accessory? My favorite accessory is probably gonna be the BB Simon belt. Yeah, this thing is hard if it will load. Maybe I should get off the Wi-Fi here. Okay, so here we got the BB Simon belt. This comes in three different colorways. Uh, we don't know what retail is going to be, but uh, it, it's not looking good yeah. for retail on this. Cause I think these, we looked them up before. I think they, some of them are like 350, 500-ish dollars. So once they put that Supreme branding on it, who knows what they are going to charge on that. But yeah, here it comes in three colorways. And now let me try to go back. I should probably stop clicking on it. Maybe I'll just zoom in, that might be faster. So let's just run by really quick. Uh, I mean, I guess the bags are like accessories. We'll start with the bags. Uh, here they are kind of zoomed in. We were really feeling the bags. I don't like the you, bags. You don't like the bags? No. Yeah. No, Honestly, no. he got... Worst season, probably. Yeah, probably. I was going to say that too. Because look, at these are like see-through. Like, I don't want to click yeah. on these. But these are like see-through. Like, you don't really want people seeing this. I know like off-white did that. Is probably the leather. Yeah, yeah. This leather one right here, fire. But like these you can see through. And we, I don't really like that at all. It's kind of getting those like off-white vibes. Like off-white did it. That was fine. But like, not really feeling it on these. I think he has the best bag to drop in a long time. I think it's from like SS17. Yeah. I got the one from like SS18. And I, I do like that one. I think that one's nice too. But then ever since then, I haven't really been feeling it. But yeah, here's the Vanson bag. I do like this one as well. This is fire. I'm probably not going to cop because it's Vanson, so it's going to be very expensive. Keep that in mind. Here's this messenger bag. Not really for me, but I kind of feel like this is going to have a little bit of resale. Everyone loves those messenger bags. And yeah, breezing through, you already know I'm copping this because we take a lot of photos, as you know, so we're going to, um, we always wear multiple outfits, take multiple pictures the same day. This will just be easy to go through. This bag is all right. And then I'm thinking the bike, yeah, we're breezing through this because I don't want this 30 minutes long. So we're talking <laughs> fast. So keep up with us on this. But this bike, I think is the big item of the year. Or would you think this is the biggest item of the year? Uh, probably the bike. Okay, one of these is the biggest item because shipping on this thing is gonna be crazy expensive. I don't even know how much, but I can guarantee shipping is gonna be not $10 on this. Same with the, oh, what just happened oh, here? No. <laughs> What's going on here? Okay, so yeah, back to this. Shipping's gonna be crazy on it. Same with the bike. I mean, compared to other seasons, how do you feel about the biggest accessory? You like it or not really feeling um, it? Um, it's all right. It's not like the best, I feel. I feel like the yeah. best was either the guitar. The guitar or the, I even pinball. Yeah, the pinball machine. I like the pinball machine, yeah. yeah. Pinball machine, I did like probably. the pinball machine. That was also crazy expensive. So this is also going to be crazy expensive. So keep that in mind if you're eyeballing these. Now let's talk about the Oreos. These are so hard. Oh, you already know I'm gonna get a bunch of these. We're gonna get, uh, cause you could probably get multiple packs, I'm assuming. It is a pack of three. These have been leaked since the summertime of last year. Um, I don't know how people got them early. I think if you worked for Oreo, they were giving out to some employees. Cause I know someone on Reddit tried to sell me a pack for $1,200. And I, I told him that these are gonna come out cause it was actually last night. And I said, these will be coming out in the season and everyone clowned me in the Reddit thread. And I cannot wait to go back on Reddit after this video and be like, I told you 
because <laughs> you said they weren't dropping. And here they are right here. The Orioles, these are sick. They're red. They're going to be awesome. All right, moving on, we got the Pendant. Uh, maybe I'll screenshot this one so you can see a little bit better. But we both said off camera before we started, yeah, this is probably the best smart. Pendant they've yeah. made in a long time. Uh, me and him never get the pendants because, like, what are they? I think like 100, 200 bucks. Or are they more than that? No, there's a, I think they're like three, three, four. Eight. As four you can tell, I don't buy them. We're, we're probably not going to buy this. I don't know. He might, but for me personally, I'm not going to be getting that. Moving on to the turntable thing. This thing is sick. I think retail is going to be pretty high on it. I don't really want to buy it just because retail is going to be high. I myself already have a record player. I know I buy a lot of things I already have that with the Supreme logo, but this I will make the exception for it because I'm probably not going to be copying this. I don't know. You never know. That might not, that might not be that much. Yeah, I mean, if it's Supreme, not that much. Supreme's always, like, has a big item, and then we always think it's going to be, like, crazy expensive, and it never, yeah, it's really that's true. We've, we've, that's happened to us in the past. So who knows? I mean, if this is cheaper, I would still love to get this. But, I mean, if I'm seeing that big price tag, I'm probably going to pass. Uh, here we got the binoculars. <laughs> these are sick. I definitely want to cop these. You know, we're going to talk to them like this, so I can see two in a row. That lawn chair is going to mandatory cop. If you watch my video, I did get the FTP chair. I think this is going to be sick if I can get that as well. And the binoculars, I think, like I was saying, are pretty sick. The film is going to be cool. I do have that camera, actually, that they also fit in. So me and Joe are definitely going to get photos in that. Uh, I think this is a towel or a blanket. Do you remember? Is that a towel? Uh, looks like a blanket. Yeah, that's probably a blanket. Uh, I might cop if retail's not too high. I do like the Mary one better from uh, last season or however long ago that I was. I do like that one. Yeah, this is cool. This is like a yeah, theme that they got going on with this throughout the season. So I do like this one a lot. Here's the basketball. It does come in two different colorways. I probably will cop just because of the basketball. I have a basketball collection even though I've never touched a court in my life. Uh, these are still sick to me and I do want to cop this. But I don't like it as much as the Gons one obviously. But I mean, it's, it's alright. It will do. We got this Speedo cap, it's all right. These goggles are cool. We don't really swim, so we're just gonna skim through these, uh, the bags. Now this catcher's thing is sick, along with these gloves. Are these bad? No, these are not batting gloves. What are these, work gloves They're, or something? Yeah, like mechanic gloves. Work gloves, okay. Those are probably gonna be a pass. Are you probably gonna pass I'm, on those? Mm, Maybe. I, don't know. I could use them for work, so. <laughs> oh, that'd be so sick. All right, so I'm we might like, get the I'm gloves, like, might get the gloves. That's a mic up. Here's a ceramic bowl, and then we got the bike helmet. The bike helmet might be a cop because I think that's hilarious. I'm not gonna get the bowl. I do like the pattern, but in the past, ceramic products do not come, come to my house in the mail correctly. Uh, here's the glass ashtray, I need to get that. Joe did mention he was gonna get this, uh, what are these even called? It's a Utility Leatherman, neck thing. Leatherman like rebar, I think it's called. Yeah, I as you can tell, I'm not clicking on him. We're going off of memory here, but yeah, he's gonna, he's gonna pick that up, hopefully, if retail's also not ridiculous on that. Here we got the lighter, and it's fire. I love the lighter. Yeah, Joe said it was glow in the dark, so that's going to be sick. Uh, this 3D lock, I'm mean, 3D lock. See-through lock is cool. <laughs> Water bottle, sick. I, I do like this one. I got the case. Then we got this mat. I think it's going to be like a rug, because after I read the dimensions, like 80 inches long. That'll be cool if I can get it. Uh, then we got the incense burner, and then we also got this umbrella. Both equally as hard. Both going to try to cop. Then we got this uh, bird call thing. I'm probably going to pass on that. This is a blanket that I'm probably gonna, no, not a blanket, a towel, which I'm probably gonna pass on that as well. Then we got these cups, which are gonna be a cup because they have every other cup. We got the wannabe known as Supreme towel. That's also sick. And yeah, that's all the accessories basically. Then we got the usual, let me zoom out. Oh no, I lied to you guys. We got the Hanes stuff here though, which is basically all the same, but we, with the exception of them bringing back the red socks and bringing back the wife, I mean not bringing back, with the new wife beaters. Then we got that poncho, which is cool. Getting into the keychains, we got this one, which me and Joe equally agree is hard. This is like this beaded one. We're probably both going to end up copying this. Oh, yeah. Then we got this lighter. I am myself. I'm going to cop this. Me and Joe usually always get all the keychains, so we probably oh, yeah, this. Really this is one. so sick in the coffin. It reminds me of the, um, the coffin keychain. Oh, yeah. That one's cool because you could open it and yeah. stuff. That, I did like that one. Now we got the Air Force Ones, which everyone's already seen. These are sick. I myself am going to try to get them, but I myself am not going to be able to cop, which I guarantee these are going to sell out pretty quickly. I don't see a resale being pretty high, but I think people are going to sell the laces by themselves. Like, I, I see it. People already sell the off-white laces by themselves. So why wouldn't they sell these yeah. by themselves? Then we got the Tupac board. Uh, that's going to be insane resale, I think, down the road. Maybe not off-rip, but there's going to be a lot of resale. Then this board I really, really like. I probably am still going to try to cop, but my friend texted me today, kind of ruined my vibe on it. Saying it looks like a Zoomies board. Kind of agree with him. Looks like a Goodwood graphic. So I'm a little bit upset about that, but I'm still going to try to cop. Then when they brought the Motion logo back this year, and I'm hoping they bring the Motion logo stickers back, but this is so sick. Anything with the Motion logo this season is going to be a cop if I can get it. Then we got that board from 
uh, with those two designs that wasn't your feeling. But here's my honorable mention of my second favorite accessory. I just love this board. This chrome thing is sick. I just love this. It looks so nice. Definitely gonna try to cop. I'd be fine with any color if I can't get black first. I would even be fine yeah, with yellow or honestly, purple. Yeah. I like them both. Then this skate tool is cool. I kind of feel like they might be trying to tax on this though. I'm getting that vibe. It's, uh, I feel like they might be trying to charge a lot for it, but if it's not, I'm definitely going to cop as well. And as you can see, I'm going to probably be going for about 80 to 90% of these accessories, so that's kind of unfortunate. But we do have the regular trucks and the regular wheels coming out as well. So that's everything for the accessories and like the bags. Now, we're going to skip through the hats really quickly because we never, I don't think I've ever bought a Supreme hat besides the loose gauge beanies. Same with him. Yeah. So that's basically all we get. I don't think there was any loose gauge beanies. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong. I don't think there are though, but I might be lying to you. This potentially could be, but I'm not sure. Um, anyways, the motion logo beanie is going to be a mandatory cop, even though I'm probably going to get the L on that. And then I do like how they had the six panel hats, which they, have, they don't really do that. There's a lot of dad hats in here. The one I love the most is a suede one. So I'm probably going to end up passing because I just feel like this is going to get destroyed very easily. But I definitely need to get myself one of these uh, dad hats that come in. Probably the S logo if I'm able to get my hands on it. And then, uh, yeah, you got any honorable mention on the hats? Just want to breeze through them. No, yeah, we never, we never really. get hats. So yeah. we, there's nothing to talk about here. No one really gets hats I do, either. I guess I do like the... Um MLB one. Oh, this one right here. Yeah, yeah a lot of people I like, like it, this. but I want this rock is it. cool. There's no way I could rock this, yeah. but I will admit this it's is pretty cool. cool. The orange colorway is even kind of cool. I, I do like the orange on that. I can't even lie. So here's the tees. Kind of what the? I didn't even see that. Oh, yeah, it's for like bicycle. Oh, I like, thought it was like wrestling or something. You remember when they made like the bicycling? Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. You're right. You're right. They did do something like that. Okay, so that that's cool. I guess I'm definitely not gonna cop those shorts. Are cool, but moving on, we're gonna go to the t-shirts. So this Tupac shirt, I don't think off rip is going to have a lot of resale, but I think down the road, this is going to be worth a lot of money. Everyone loves Tupac. I see this being worth a lot. Then they brought the tie dye shirt in. I'm not a fan of the graphic, but if they keep this tie dye, uh, this tie dye theme going with all the shirts, I need to get something in this tie dye. Yes. Yeah, I don't think they've ever done tie dye in the past. I don't know. I could be wrong about that too, but I do like the tie dye a lot. I'm hoping this shirt actually right here will come in tie dye because I do want to get this. But really only if it, I even like the blue though. This is a nice blue, yeah, I don't know. Really All my cool. shirts are black. I'm trying to like switch that up. But I say that every year and we never end up doing it. So maybe this will be the year for it. Then we got these two right here. I'm not really feeling these. This is all right, designed by Mark Gonzalez. So you already know I got to support that. These two are pretty cool. I like this black one. I'm not gonna cop for myself, but I can definitely appreciate this one. I do like it. Even this is sick. This back graphic is so fire. Like this isn't gonna be for the personal. But I do really like that. I'm trying to narrow down my shirt selection because I have so many. So I'm going to pass on that. This is, we don't need to talk about that or this really. We looked at this for a couple minutes trying to figure out what this is. I think it's like a, a goat. I mean, not a goat. <laughs> a uh, lion, like yeah, a someone with tiger teeth. Tiger eating, eating like a, a Bambi oh. or something. I don't know. Then here's my favorite t-shirt so far. I just like this because it's very simple. I also think they used the same exact print on a hoodie a long, long time ago. So I'm glad they're bringing this back. I do want to get this in this, uh, if they if they do it at least, I want to get in this natural colorway or a black, but this is definitely the number one mandatory cop for a t-shirt. Or tie-dye. Oh, if it came in tie-dye? Okay, yeah. I wasn't even thinking about that. So if it comes in tie-dye, I will get that. Just, just know that something has to be tie-dye, hopefully. I hope it's not just this graphic. I don't see why it would be, but knowing Supreme, it could be. So week one is going to be insane because we already know the shirts are dropping, the decks are dropping. So we'll just breeze through the shorts. We don't really talk about the shorts too much. This is uh, sick. This is my favorite. My favorite too, yeah, yeah, this is my favorite one because uh, did they make S logo shorts? I'll just show you guys the shorts even though you probably already looked at them, but here they are. This print I think is gonna slap, not for the shorts, but in general, because this kind of matches the BOGO. I did forget to mention that with the hat. Um, I don't know where it is, but trust me, yeah, this one right here. This hat I think might have resale. Don't quote me on it in case you try copying, but that might have resale because it does kind of match the BOGO. Not exactly, but kind of. Yeah, there's all the shorts. I thought there were S logo shorts. I must have been incorrect on that. Maybe they were pants. Yeah, so, pants. Okay, so I guess we'll get in that, but yeah. Best shorts for us right there. We both agree on that one. Just know one of those are swim trunks. We don't have a lot of time on our hands to fact check all this for you guys. Um, oh yeah, here we go. There's the S logo sweatpants. Those are cool. I've been wanting a pair of those for a while now. Probably won't cop considering the amount of money I'm going to be spending. Uh, these are cool, I guess. I never saw those. Trying to see what that is. That's kind of cool, I guess. Uh, these are, oh, even I kind of like these. Okay, some of these sweatpants are kind of fire. 
Keep in mind, if you're gonna get them, they fit very baggy. I had a size small and it was still huge on me. Even these are kind of cool. Remind me of the blood and semen ones, kind of, not really. It has like the, that's like down the messenger bag, isn't it? Oh yeah, I think it does match that. So that is kind of cool. Uh, moving along here, we got this cloth one's kind of cool. More pants, more pants. And now let's get into the hoodie slash crewnecks. Uh, Joey did say that his favorite item this season did belong to the hoodies. And what was your favorite item this season? Clothing wise. The motion logo. The motion logo, which or, is probably like almost everybody's because that's also probably mine too. Or the S logo. Probably. Yeah, the S logo's cool. We were also just saying I, I like how they did good colors this season, not like wild stuff. But I did not want to pick the motion logo as well because Joey already picked it. But just know that is my second most liked clothing item from this season. The hoodies are all right. I don't love any of them like to where I need them necessarily, but I will appreciate a lot of them. S logos fire. I probably won't cop considering like the nine other things I want. Uh, this I really like this just because it's so clean. This might be uh, this might be a cop because I want to get a crew neck. Yeah, it's a crew neck. Yeah, so fair. I might actually get this. Um, if it's week one, I probably won't get it. But if it's later on in the season, I might get it. I do really like it. I gotta see what other colorways it comes in. I don't want to click on it because my phone keeps freezing every time I click on it. Uh, these are all right. This is like the dollar bill tee. Reminds me of a long time ago. This obviously matches the pants that we were at. Then me and Joey both really like this one. I don't know what it says underneath there, but um, www.supreme.com or supremenewyork.com. Really? I kind of wish you didn't say that. Yeah, I think that's what it says. Uh, I kind of wish you didn't say that. I think it would be better on its own. I, I do like that graphic though. That is cool. I'd like to see that graphic a little bit more. This, I don't know what this is, but it says FM all, so I'm probably not going to rock this. Uh, but I, I'm not going to lie to you. I kind of like that green colorway. But moving along here, we got this red. Kind of looks like a bullet holes are in that thing. I don't know. Then we got this uh, dog is going like sledding or something. It looks pretty fire. <laughs> then we got this. Reminds me of a t-shirt that dropped a little while ago. I love that yellow colorway. Can't lie. I hate this print. I'm sorry, guys. You like this print? It seems to be it's an ongoing right, theme. But not, like, I'm not a big fan. Yeah, it seems to be an ongoing theme, but I'm not really feeling this print. This is kind of cool. It reminds me of like an older one. I kind of like it. And then uh, this Naomi crew neck is kind of cool too. I like the blue flames on that. Oh, these are what the pants go with down below. Okay. But yeah, these are cool too. Oh, is that a hoodie? Yeah, it's a hoodie. I kind of like oh, this. I yeah, don't know. I actually kind of mess with it. Maybe I'll have to wait to see some like on body pics of that, but I kind of like that. Oh, are they bringing this back? I feel like this is an older one, but they got like new colors of the logos. I, think I don't know. I have to re-look at that one. A shirt like that, right? Or was yeah, it I think just, it was a hoodie. Was well, wait, no, I had the shirt, but then they did a hoodie too. We might be confusing it with other items, but it does kind of look familiar if it yeah, does, it does just look. say Supreme. Kind of cool. Might actually cop that one because I do want to get one hoodie. Because I got, I think I'm going to take an L on the motion logo. So yeah, I got to figure out what obviously. hoodie I'm going to try to get. This is the BOGO. I don't like it. I'm sorry, guys. As a BOGO fan, and I as my as I just got my first BOGO, I'm trying to get more, obviously. It's like it's like when you get that first thing, you gotta get so many like little pop vinyls, you can never just have one. You gotta get like a yeah, hundred. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now I want more box logos, but I hate this box logo. Hopefully it'll break and I can cop just to say I have it. I think, <laughs> I, think I might. Might break? Say, yeah. I might just get it just to say I have it. I don't know what colorways it comes in, but it probably comes in the generic colorways. I loved the bandana box logo and that bricked. Yeah. Yes. So, yeah, yeah. I thought the bandana box logo was that. hard. That did brick as well. Um, I mean, it's still you can still resell it for some money, but compared to other box logos, it's a brick. So hopefully this one does too. Maybe we can cop that one. That would be nice. Here's the mini bogo. They do that every season. Nothing new here. And then here's some more hoodies. And then this is pretty cool. I kind of like that one. I like this uh, natural colorway they got yeah, going on. Just, Definitely need to get I something in that natural. Even see that one honestly. i do like this one a lot actually yeah and he has a shirt couple. yeah he has i think couple shirts right now in the natural colorway and i just I need something in that natural yeah, colorway i, too, I think the, i love that colorway supreme kills it oh yes yeah yep. the, like cloth everything. supreme kills it with the natural this is actually kind of cool too i kind of like this i probably wouldn't rock this but i kind of like this and then here's some more crew necks. Let's just speed things up here. This is a leak that we've seen a long time ago that I do actually kind of like that one. I'm not even going to lie. I do like it. This is cool. I guess graffiti and there's the pocket T is cool. This is, uh, this is all right. I, I want to like this, but I feel like that in the middle says like F you or something crazy like that. Here's the long sleeves. They kind of always do. And then let's kind of breeze through these ones. This is easy. It reminds me of like the drama shirt. Then this is all right, I guess. Uh, this green shirt, uh, it's gonna be like a hundred bucks with just like this little scribble of Supreme, would not be worth the money. This is, I don't know, that's cool. I feel like they've done this before in the past. These are all right, let's just skim through these. This, is, we were looking at, it comes in a different, couple different colorways. I do like this, and actually seeing this one above here, this is kind of hard too. 
Might even try to cop this. Not yeah, even gonna lie. Like I like this one a lot. But keep in mind, these are like the hundred dollar tees. So if you are wanting to get one of these, these will be a little bit more pricey. This is kind of cool for honorable mention. I would never wear it, but I do like it. Um, this is cool too. It reminds me of like an older piece they've done. And then here's some tank tops. You can see here some more tees. I don't know, me and Joey didn't really mention anything about these besides this jersey is super sick. That's probably like my third favorite. Yeah, yeah, I do like this a lot. Um, it looks like the Yankees thing we both agreed on. Pretty fire. Even the basketball jersey is not awful, but it's not my favorite one. The one from like three seasons ago that we really wanted to get to that, that match in like a photo. Oh yeah, that's still like my favorite. One. Yeah, and they they haven't really been hitting ever since for me. Yeah, but like I'm not gonna lie, I don't hate this one. It's just not really my favorite. I wouldn't really want to spend like the 200 bucks after shipping and tax on it, which I'd rather get the other one. Uh, these things are all right. This is like a little windbreaker type thing. Here's the long sleeve tees. Oh, look at the dog peeking through. And then I don't even know what that is, like an hourglass or something. Here's some more tees. Here's that cycling thing, I guess. Here's some more things, as you can see. None of these are really clickable. I do like the color of this this shirt. <clears throat> Lose my voice. I do like the color of this shirt with the Supreme on it, as EST thing, whatever that said. Um, this is even cool, too. I think we get some cool photos on this if we got it. It reminds me of like peanut butter and jelly for some reason. Uh, this is cool too. I don't know if this is what we were talking about earlier or the one before that, but we did like that. This came in a purple colorway that we liked as well. And then breezing on through these because we are not going to get any of these sweaters or cardigans, but I will admit these are hard for, but I could not wear those. Those are cool. All right, is this that thing from Cartoon Network from back in the day? It looks like it. Maybe not. No, I can't. No, I don't think it's. Yeah. You know what I'm talking about. Here's some more button-up shirts. We'll skim through these. This is an honorable mention. If this is a flannel, this is gonna be hard. I think it's more like a dressier shirt though, so I'm not sure. I'm always talking and losing my voice. This is gonna be more of a dressier shirt, but if it's a flannel, that'd be cool. That one's all right too. And then here's the work clothes. We're not gonna be wearing any of those, and we're not gonna be wearing any of this. Sorry if I'm skipping your favorite item right now, but we're not gonna be looking at these. This jacket's probably hard. It looks like it's a clock, like the clock times on it, like Supreme, but I like the clocks. Oh, yeah, like a digital? Yeah, a digital clock. And then here's some jackets. I do like this colorway a lot. Very clean. We never get any of the jackets, though, either. So we really don't have much to talk about on these. Except this item right here is my favorite clothing accessory. <laughs> but this right here is my favorite clothing item. This is a, a track jacket, which usually the track jackets kind of slap. I don't own any of them, but I do appreciate them. Except this dropped week one, but like from last season dropped week one and it sold out like almost instantly. So I'm assuming this is gonna drop week one and I'm probably not gonna be able to cop this, but I will admit it is fire and I wish I could. I love this pale yellow colorway on this thing too. I don't know what it says on the back. Looks like it might just say Supreme on the neck, but honestly, this kind of goes, I kind of like that. Then we got this uh, this uh, American flag print chilling again too. Those might have resale later down the road, but don't quote me on it. Then the advancing thing is so sick. And then this is, uh, we can agree on, is super hard. Looks just like the Louis Vuitton thing from like afar. On the back, it has like Supreme on it, kind of like a guest style, and it has like hole punches on it, and they call it like, the hole punch jacket. Really like this. And then, uh, yeah, that's basically everything. Here's this, but we already had leaks on this a long time ago. But that's basically everything. And like I said, we did super ultra mega skim through this super quickly and we just basically just 10 minutes 10 15 minutes of us saying that's cool this is cool that's awesome this is awesome but yeah you requested it and by you i mean that one special person watching at home right now requested it so we delivered and i'm hoping to upload this same day so now that we got that stuff out of the way we saw the lookbook last thoughts joey on a scale one to ten what do you rate this season i would rate it probably like an eight Ooh, an eight yeah. you heard it here folks he rates it an eight which i do actually agree on it as well i'd probably say eight or nine honestly with that being said the accessories slap 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 i love the accessories and like i said I'm, I want every single accessory. And if say there's like 20 accessories dropping, there's only, there's like 17 of them I'm going for. So there's a huge percentage of them I'm trying to get. I won't be able to get all of them because resale is going to be crazy, but I'm hoping like previous seasons, there's going to be, on, there's going to be a kid on there that buys the Zippo for like, for like 80 bucks and decides to sell it on StockX for 40. And then I can come in and swoop and take the W and get it for under retail because not the Zippos, the Zippos will resell that was just an example. A lot of the product, you can end up getting under retail. I'm hoping that'll be the case for some of these accessories. A lot of talking in this video, a lot of speeding in this video. 
and hopefully you did enjoy it. But one last thing, we'll do one last recap again. My favorite clothing item this season would have to be this windbreaker. And I'm sorry, I do not know the correct name, but this track jacket is super hard. I want to cop. Joey, what was your number one clothing item? The Motion logo hoodie. <sighs> so hard too. Yeah. I think... I mean, I don't want to be the bad news, but we're probably both going to take it out. Yeah, it. Uh, <laughs> we're probably I'm both going to take it out. For it. But who knows? We also could see maybe like a brick of a resale and then not sell yeah, for too not. much. And maybe we can get it aftermarket. Who knows? And then lastly, my favorite accessories, which I'm going to have to say too this season, are the Ziploc bags as well as this skateboard that I forgot the name of. Both of those things are super hard and I hope, hopefully, hopefully can get those and I will definitely pay a resell on that skateboard if I have to. And then to end off the video, Joey, again, one last time, what was your favorite accessory from SS20? The BB Simon belt. For sure. Also so hard. And are you going to try to cop the BB Simon belt? I'm going to try. Yeah, are you, you thinking about pulling the trigger? Yeah, honestly, I'm like... Thinking about it. If he gets it, he takes out of every single Supreme accessory and Supreme item I have. And keep in mind, that's a lot. Joey will take the cake and have the hardest Supreme <laughs> item out of the two of us. If it's not like a, yeah. a bag, yeah. I will if definitely try to cop. I mean, I don't want to be... I'd say probably like... 500 is like max is max, max probably yeah i mean i hope it's like i don't see it being more than five 500. or six yeah i five don't really see it being more than 500 but i don't have any bb belts so i don't know how much yeah, I like either. i don't know what the base rate is like the standard model like that model but i don't really see that one being over 500 dollars. but with supreme in the past they could do that but hopefully joey gets it and if he does get the bb belt which will probably drop week one but we're not sure i will make sure he comes over and shows it off and maybe do an unboxing so you guys can see that because i need to see that that's gonna be sick i probably will go for it but i probably won't be able to i might see the price and have to back out but anyways enough talking because now we're just rambling that was the entire ss20 preview slash lookbook review we try to do this every single season we've doing we've been doing pretty well in the past i think we've done every season since we started maybe maybe we missed a season but we're trying to do it now at your request at your one request so if you did enjoy this video make sure you hit the like button drop a comment down below let me know what your favorite item from this season was and if you're not already please subscribe hit that bell notification so you can be alerted anytime i upload my next video and i will catch you guys in the next video thank you so much for watching follow us on instagram with the links down below and we'll catch you in the next video and let's get ready for that week one unboxing baby you know what i'm kind of mad about